late 60s, a friend of mine told me, you see those two people, you would never think of it, but they are among the biggest collectors of new art in New York. These are the famous moguls. I think Herbie and Dorothy were known by everyone. They were at every gallery, they went to every museum. There was nothing they didn't see. The art world was their habitat. Pete comes in and he points at the art like a hound. They liked the most unlikable of the work. That's a piece, a wire piece by Richard Tuttle. The most difficult, the least decorative. You see him? That's a, that's a work of art. That definitely is a work of art. Her and Dorothy have eyes that see. There's two Julian Inch novels at the very end. And Linda Bangles is the orange piece. You like to buy them four at a time, I remember. You mean 40 at a time? There were boxes, there were crates, there were piles. There were works on the ceiling. Under the bed. Under and the bed. Under the bed. The bed was getting higher and higher and higher as it, they shoved more art uh, underneath it. The, this compulsive collecting, uh, almost like alcoholic, you know. They were greedy. What can I say? They were greedy. Yeah, that's what okay. you Oh, thank you. Oh, thank God they were greedy, huh? <laughs>